Hey guys, uh, this is Jack and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to demonstrate CineX Player for the iPad. And um, so let's get started. So CineX Player is a free application that lets you play XVID movies uh, or video files um, on your iPad that are not natively supported um, within iTunes. Um, as you all know that if you want to play a video file on your iPod or iPhone or iPad or even iPod Touch, you have to you know, put, put it in iTunes and then have iTunes sync it over. So if iTunes doesn't support it, most likely your iPod uh, or iPhone or whatever does not support it either. Now, Synex Player, it's, um, it lets you play files that iTunes does not support. Um, so to transfer over these files, you have to use uh, the iTunes uh, file sharing manager type of thing. And you w once you install Synex Player, it's a free download. Um, I suggest you download it. You go to the Apps tab and you go to the um, file sharing uh portion, you click on Synex Player and you drag any of your files into the window. Now I have here, right here I have a clip of, um, I have a clip of XVID, uh, it's an XVID clip, it's a video sample I found online and I'm going to see if it plays back. So what you want, really want to do is, um, once you drag it in, it will automatically sync over to your iPad, you drag, uh, you go to your iPad and you launch Cinex. it will have this, you know, lobby type of thing and a list of all your files um, and once you get the list of your files just press on one to play and you gotta kind of get the idea you can if the video is in a different um, ratio you can you know make it bigger uh, fill the whole screen you can go uh, you can uh, rewind uh, you can play pause and adjust the volume and you can also, for certain video files, this, the slider on the top does not work uh, to you know, scrub through a video file, but I think the native uh, XVID or AVI files do work, so that's to be noted. And uh, let me, let me, let me mute that. Um, so that's how Synex Player works. It works with a bunch of different files and it uses local storage. Um, if you want to delete something, you have to do it through iTunes, I believe. I don't think if you swipe Oh, you can actually delete files here. You can just swipe them and then you click tap on delete. Um, there's also resume points. If you watch a certain video file and you exit out of it, you, you're, there are resume points. So when you go back to the same video file, you can um, come back to where you left off. So that is the next player. Um, it's a free download. I suggest all of you guys to get it. It's a very light player. Um, doesn't take up, take up much space but it offers you a lot of functionality. So please go download today, and thanks guys for watching this video. Please follow me on Twitter. I am twitter.com slash beautifulcode, and this video will be posted on two channels, my iPad reviewer channel, which I'm reviving, and also my main channel, Snow Leopard 2008. Please subscribe to both channels. Thanks guys for watching the video, and again, see you guys next time.